They're old, they're small, and they can be extremely noisy. I am, of course, talking about ancient RAW files. Today, I'm going to enhance some really old RAWs using Lightroom's Enhance features. Let's get into it. Over the past few years, Adobe has given us some really, really interesting tools in Lightroom. Most of these are based around AI, and I think the most powerful are the AI enhanced tools. You can enhance detail, you can enhance resolution, and you can denoise using AI. Really, really powerful stuff. But it got me thinking, modern cameras today have amazing resolution, amazing detail, and often the noise is pretty low in all of them. Do we really need AI enhancement? Perhaps not for new cameras, but I've got a whole load of old RAW files that I took all the way back in 2006, 2007, using old Nikons, the DX2 and the D3. And today I'm gonna to delve into Adobe Lightroom's enhanced features using these old RAWs. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna denoise one D2X file, and we're going to enhance and increase the resolution of 1D3 file. Both of these cameras were 12 megapixel, great cameras in their own right, but very old technology. Let's see how much better we can make these images. So we're in Lightroom and we're actually in the library module at the moment, and these are the two images we're going to work on. On the left we have the D2X image. This was shot at 1100 ISO, and as you can see, it's very noisy. The D2X was an APS-C sensor at uh, 12 megapixel, and it wasn't the best camera that Nikon's ever produced. On the right, we have a D3 file. This was shot at 6400 ISO, again 12 megapixels, but the D3 was a full frame sensor and a massive leap up from the D2X. However, at 6400 with no light, there is definitely quite a bit of noise there. Unfortunately, what you can't do is denoise an image and then enhance the details and resolution. You can either do one or the other, uh, which is unfortunate. So this D3 image, for example, I couldn't denoise it and then enhance the resolution up to a 40 megapixel image. So what we're going to do, we're going to actually take this first image, we're going to do the denoise on that image, and we're going to take this second image and we're going to increase the resolution, but we'll also do a denoise and keep it at 12 megapixels just to see how it comes out. So let's start with the D2X. We're going to right click on it and we're going to scroll down and click on Enhance. This pops up the Enhance Preview and as you can see we've got Denoise selected. If we deselect that we can click Royal Details and Super Resolution which will enhance it by four times the resolution. 12 megapixel will become 48 megapixels but that's not what we want to do here. On this image we're literally just going to denoise it. Um, you can scroll around and find an area of shadow that uh, is particularly noisy. This area here, as you can see, very dark area, lots of noise in it. If I scroll that down to zero, you can see there's loads and loads of noise. I'm going to scroll that up to about 40%, I think. Let's see how that looks there. Uh, it looks fairly clean. We're losing a touch of definition in it, but, um, you know, this is a very old RAW file. It's a very noisy RAW file. So let's see what we can get out of that. I'll click Enhance and it's going to take a few moments to process that. So as soon as it finishes processing, it pops up the enhanced image, which is actually an, an Adobe DNG file. Uh, so this is actually the new image. And if we zoom in, you can see there's a real, real big difference in noise reduction. This doesn't look like an old RAW file at all. This looks like a fairly decent, albeit slightly high ISO image from a modern camera. And if we select both of the images, the original plus the enhanced RAW, and we click on side by side, and then we zoom in, you can see the difference that has made. Um, there is a softening, there is an inevitable softening with it, but on both of these images, I've removed both the normal sharpening and the normal noise reduction. So this image here on the left, the enhanced version, hasn't been sharpened. And I think that will actually sharpen up into a really good image compared to that old roar, that old noisy roar on the right hand side. That's a very impressive result. Let's go back to the grid view and we're going to pick out our D3 image. And we're going to do the noise reduction first. Let's, so let's have a look at that. Uh, we'll go to right click, enhance. Let's find an area of shadow that's very, very noisy. 
Uh, this down here is pretty noisy. And if we, I think we might be able to scroll that back to about 30. I think that looks pretty good. So again, we'll click Enhance and wait for that to see what that happens with that. And again, we've dropped straight into the Enhanced DNG version of it. And if we zoom in, uh, that's pretty impressive. Um, it's still a lot of noise in there, but it's significantly better and much more usable now than it was before. Again, if we go to the original and bring up the compare, uh, you can see that is a significant difference in noise without any great loss of sharpness. There is some loss of sharpness, but if you look at the mosaics in this church wall here, if anything, it's slightly better. Um, that's actually really quite an impressive result. So let's go back to the original NEF file here, um, the noisy one. And we're, all we're going to do now is we're going to do a super resolution on this one, see how it looks resolution wise. So we need to deselect the noise. We've got the raw details, so it will improve the raw details. And then we're going to super resolution it as well, just to see how that comes out. Let's scroll down, see how we're expecting the image to look, and then we'll click enhance. So we'll wait a few moments on this image. And again, it's popped up the enhanced version. Now this is the super resolution with enhanced details. Uh, and as I zoom in, you can see that there is uh, a lot more resolution, if not a lot more detail to the image. If I actually select both of them side by side again, and I zoom in, you can see the difference in size now, and you can also see the difference in resolution. If I scroll down here, I would say it's done a pretty good job of making a 48 megapixel uh, image out of that. Of course, it's still noise, and I can't reduce that noise using AI Enhance, unfortunately. So let's just take that enhanced image itself. As you can see, I can't enhance that any further. Once you've enhanced it once, either denoise or super resolution and raw details, you can't do it again. But what we can do is we can take it over into the develop module and see what it's like if we just use the manual denoising. So we'll do the deluminance noise up to about 30% and we'll add the color at about 20%. And it's done a fairly decent job. So if we take both of these images back into the uh, library module, and just uh, do a XY comparison of them again, uh, you can see that the noise reduction and the increased resolution has kind of worked. Um, there is some extra resolution, certainly some extra resolution, and their noise reduction, although not AI, has done a, a reasonable job. Whether that's a usable image, I'm not sure I'd be printing that particularly large at all, um, but it does prove that um, both super resolution and the AE noise works really, really well. So this is a side-by-side -side of the AI using noise reduction on the left and super resolution on the right. And I would say I would probably stick with the 12 megapixel noise reduced image rather than the enhanced resolution one on the right. So this has been a really interesting comparison, I think. It's quite clear that uh, Adobe's AI enhanced tools for Lightroom are really, really powerful and really, really useful on older RAW images. Many of us have a catalog, a back catalog of old RAW files. Some of them will have a lot of noise because of sensor technology. Some of them will be low noise, but uh, low resolution. I mean, I started on a six megapixel camera. It wasn't until around 2006 or seven that I got a 12 megapixel camera. Super resolution can really bring up some of my better photos um, to a point where I can actually print them big now. The denoise really, really worked well on the D2X. Um, it worked really, really well on the D3. The only caveat is you can't use denoise and super resolution together. If Adobe can find a workaround for that, I think this will make the tool even more powerful, particularly for us that have a large back catalogue of RAWs. Anyway, I really hope that you've enjoyed the video. Um, if you've got any comments or questions, please drop them in the comments below. I try to answer all comments uh, as they come in. So um, if you've got any questions, please, you know, ask me. I'm quite happy to answer them. Uh, if you've enjoyed the video, a thumbs up would be brilliant. And if you really enjoy the content that I'm producing, a subscription would be even better. So that's it for today, and I will see you in the next one.